Mine too. I love chicken salad chick. And my favorite one is the classic Carol version. So I make that pretty much weekly for my house. Um, so let me show you how I make my knockoff classic Carol chicken salad. Okay, so I start with a giant pot of boiling water on the stove. And I bought a five pound package of chicken breast, boneless skinless chicken breast at Aldi. Um, this, these breasts are huge. <laughs> so I cut them in half so they'll cook faster or three or four halves really. I mean like slice them up and they'll cook faster. Um, then I put all those in the pot, just water, chicken, let it boil. And then, um, I'm actually going to use four pounds of this for chicken salad. And then I save another pound to cook dinner. Last night I cooked, um, what chicken enchiladas with it. So just let that boil for like 20, 25 minutes till it's, you know, no more, no more pink. Then I take this and in stages because it's so much, I have to use my food processor. I love my Ninja and just pulse it up. Um, I don't add anything to the chicken while I'm pulsing it because I want it to stay, um, a little bit. Otherwise it kind of turns into like pate, which is gross. Um, so yeah, then I take a handful of celery, like probably three or four stalks of celery washed, drop those in, I uh, blend those really well because I don't like giant pieces of celery, but it does add the flavor. Then I have salt, pepper, and two packets of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning and Duke's mayonnaise. Uh, I love Duke's. That's what chicken salad chick uses. So that's what I use. Um, and then of course the celery. So just put all that in there. I don't, I really eyeball this y'all. I don't have like a set recipe. I literally just put, add stuff until it feels right. So salt, I just kind of coat the top in pepper until it's like a fine dusting of pepper. So because it's a lot of chicken, I do this kind of in stages. So I do one packet of seasoning, a couple of giant tablespoons of mayonnaise, stir that together and then it's going to be dry on the bottom, so you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring until you get it all incorporated. And then do the next packet of seasoning and another, you know, scoop or two of mayonnaise. It really depends on your taste. So I don't like it too dry, but I also don't like it too mayonnaise-y. So, and then here's a little trick. I use some of the chicken broth from the chicken water <laughs> and pour that in and it makes it really nice. And uh, then I smooth it out, stick it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight and it's gonna taste even better the next day. My family absolutely devours this stuff, so ours doesn't last more than a couple of days probably, but I think you could store it up to maybe five days in your fridge.